Click Structural Inspection tab in the ribbon menu. From the output heading, open the Concrete All Failures list. Click the Concrete Insufficient Rebar Area command. Reinforcement Insufficiency results will appear in the Visualization window. From Visualization dialog, select All Failures from the Design Output list. Failure situations are seen in the column Design Results. It means that there is no insufficiency in the green colored elements, and there is an insufficiency in the red colored elements. Select the Longitudinal Rebar Percentage, Columns, from the Concrete list. The Longitudinal Reinforcement Ratios used in the column Concrete Design are shown. Close the Visualization dialog. Click the Concrete tab in the ribbon menu. Open the Concrete list in the Design heading. Click on the Column command. The Column Reinforcement dialog opens. In the Column Reinforcement dialog, click on the Columns tab. Reinforcement information of concrete columns is given. Click the Forces Reinforcement Areas tab. The internal force values used in the column design are listed. Calculated required existing reinforcement areas are examined. Column design internal forces are examined. Click the Capacity Diagrams tab. Calculated axial force and biaxial bending interaction curve are given. Click the Moment Curvature tab. Activate the Caltrans idealized model. Activate the stop when a fiber reaches ultimate stress. Moment curvature analysis results calculated using fibers appear. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Open the concrete list in the design heading. Click the beam command. The beam reinforcement dialog opens. Click the beams tab of the beam reinforcement dialog. Reinforcement information of concrete beams is listed. Click the Concrete Configuration tab. Beam concrete drawings and expansions will be seen. Click the Reinforcement Areas tab. Calculated required existing reinforcement areas of the concrete beam are displayed. Click the Forces and Details tab. Internal forces values used in concrete beam design are listed. Click the Deflection and Crackings tab. Concrete beam deflection and crack control calculation is visible. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Open the concrete list in the design heading. Click the slab command. The slab reinforcement dialog opens. In the slabs tab, slab are listed. Click the OK button to close the dialog. 